Let's go, it's the Whitey Show. I'm doing a double review because I played episode 2 and 3 back to back. I probably should just wait till the whole thing is over, but I'm whitey, so fuck it. Right where the episode 1 leaves off, we are on the search to find Snow's killer, right? That's the whole big thing, but I'm not going to give spoilers away, but I guess you can obviously see Snow's still alive. So, it picks up, and 2 and 3 get deeper into the plot as we go on, but we really don't, you know, know what's happening or who really is the bad guy, and that makes it, you know, fun. There's betrayal, liars, killers, it's all coming to this huge climax, and we just don't know how it'll end. The gameplay stays largely intact. Search for clues, make choices with the dialogue and the story, and of course the quick time events that show off some great cinematic fights. So, does episode 2 and 3 level, you know, same level as the badassness of episode 1, or does it come a little bit short? Let's find out. The good. Both episodes keep the look of the previous game, and that's a very good thing. Cell shaded like comic book feel is a brilliant idea, and we continue into episode 3 and 2 looking just like that. Also, we get a lot more fables, some really unique designs from the old time fable stories for these characters, and a lot of people who read the comics, I used to read them too, get to see the comics come alive, that's pretty cool. Everything just looks really great, and there's a lot more environments also, and it looks so cool the way they draw, and I, I just love the look of this game. Plot-wise, I'm gonna give Episode 3 the big positive here, well, Episode 2 kinda. Episode 2 furthers the mystery, but it felt like the least amount of plot was covered in this title. The beginning kinda felt like a trick, while the middle half is interesting, and it, it gets summed up way too quick. Um, but when we get to the end, in the whorehouse, and the very end, it gets really good. Well, episode 3 starts off with a bang and ends with a fantastic reveal and heavy on the decisions. So while episode 2 was a decent bridge, episode 3 really shined and the story and the pacing are just great and it's the most interesting plot so far in the series. The gameplay in episode 3 is also fantastic. Just enough mix of exploring, talking, making choices, and fighting. The talking is interesting this time around, and you got a lot of information that you can kind of piece together what's happening. The best part though, in my opinion, are the fights and the decisions. In episode 3, you must make very, very hard choices at times, and they will later infect the entire series. It's pretty awesome, and it leaves you with only a few moments to think. The fights, on the other hand, are badass to the max, especially the final fight. And I won't even show it, I won't spoil it, but once you get to it, oh, you are, mm, I'm just saying, it's awesome. Now, the bad. Episodes 2 plot, like I said, seemed off pace. I wasn't nearly as invested into it as the first one, and like I said, in my opinion, it's a bridge in a lot of the ways. You connect a few dots, but it really isn't until the last scene do you really get the feeling that it's actually leading anywhere. Well, the beast subplot was interesting, couldn't really hold my attention. Also, as before, the stutters are in like full effect. Surprisingly, in episode 3, they have died down quite a bit, uh, especially during the fights, but 2 definitely had some serious stutters, especially at the start, to the point where it almost interrupts the flow of the entire game, and believe me, I believe that episode 2 was a bit rushed. Now saying all that, even the worst episode of The Wolf Among Us is I entertaining. I enjoyed episode 2, but replaying 1 and then playing 3 right after made me realize that it's the weak link. 2, while good, is sitting about at a 7, weaker than episode 1 in my opinion. Now, 3, right from the get-go, is a roller coaster of emotions and twists. I love 3 so much, it's probably one of my 
favorite episodes. I think it's the best episode I've ever played from these guys. And I score that one an amazing score of a 9. And I can't really... I don't know how they're going to top it. But I really can't wait for episode 4 and 5. So pick up both definitely. But pick up 3. Like the second you buy 2, buy 3 right away. Because you're going to want to know what happens next. And 3 does not this up point. Nothing to lose, very little to gain I'll never back down, how you think I stay sane? 